Uh, before I ask questions of the minister, I just want to read in a notice of motion. I will be emailing that to the clerk and we can send it around. I'll read it out and then I'll get on to asking questions. Uh, so the motion is as follows, that the committee recognize that one, a 20, 2014 resolution prioritized by the Liberal Party of Canada called for an all party process to be instituted involving expert assistance and citizen participation to report to Parliament within 12 months with the recommendations for electoral reforms including, without limitation, a preferential ballot and or some form of proportional representation to represent Canadians more fairly and serve Canada better. Two, the 2015 Liberal election campaign included a promise to end the first-past-the-post electoral system. Three, the 2016 report of the Standing Committee on Electoral Reform observed that a majority of experts who testified recommended proportional representation. The government stated it would undertake a period of comprehensive and effective citizen engagement before proposing specific changes to the current federal voting system. Four, a ledger poll conducted in September 2020 showed that 76% of respondents supported a move to proportional representation and 80% supported the idea of striking a nonpartisan independent citizens assembly on electoral reform. Five in 2021, the Procedure and House Affairs Committee passed a motion to undertake a study of the National Citizens Assembly on Electoral Reform and that the Committee A urged the Government of Canada to establish a nonpartisan National Citizens Assembly on Electoral Reform and B recommend to the House that it task the Standing Committee on Procedure and House Affairs with developing guidelines for establishment of an assembly and report these to the House by December 15, 2023.